Hello and welcome back. Before I forget, if you would please uh, take a, a look at the link below in the show notes. Vote for the best, your favorite Linux-based operating system for 2019. There will be a link below in the show notes to that video. Now, you do not have to watch the whole live feed of that show. Just go below in the comments and write, uh, Hey, Toss, I like Linux Mint, or Hey, I like Ubuntu. One comment equals one vote. So, so one comment, say you like L Linux Mint, Linux Mint is your vote. And I will have a winner. I will pick a winner uh, maybe during a live show sometime next month. So take a look at that link below and uh, thank you. All right, Manjaro Linux. This is the latest edition, 18.1.0. Um, Some of you might recall about three years ago, I was asked to accept a challenge to do a full install test of Manjaro Linux, one of my ThinkPads, as a Windows user to give my honest opinion. Be fair, but be honest. So briefly, I remember uh, having an issue with the installer. I fixed that. I couldn't play music. I fixed that. Updates didn't work. I fixed that. To make a long story short, short, after about two months or so, the system just was not fun for me. I guess that's the best way to describe it. So I deleted it, and I really never went back. However, a lot has changed in three years. Uh, Manjaro is one of the more popular Linux distros for a lot of users. And big news lately. Manjaro apparently now is a company. That's great news. Congratulations, Manjaro. I wish you the best of luck. And hopefully now you can pay your talented team the money they deserve. All right, let's move on. This will not be a full install test. I realize VBox tests can be somewhat limited. That being said, I'll do my best to give you an honest opinion uh, as a Windows user. So this is the latest version, 18.1.0. This is the welcome screen. Uh, this is becoming more and more... Uh, common and this is nice especially for newbies to the world of Linux so let's go in and install this inside of VBox and uh, we'll see if it works so I will just uh, click launch installer now uh, Windows 10 is my host for this test all right so welcome to the Manjaro 18.1.1.0 Juraya okay all right, time zone, New York is good. Keyboard default is good. And uh, yeah, we'll just do erase uh, disk since this is a test. And again, I'm not gonna do anything extra here. Uh, do next. All right, so since this is a test, what is your name? We'll write test, test-pc. This is a test, so for password, we'll go, uh, oh, let's see, zero, 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 again. Uh, use a longer password if you wanted to use this every day. Log in automatically without asking for password. Um, nah, I don't think I want to do that. If I was going to do this every day, choose a password for the administrator account. Again, just for testing purposes, I'll do 000. Um, let's see here. Okay, now the passwords match. Okay. Use the same password for the administrator account. Let's make it easier and do that. So you have a choice there. All right, we'll just keep that the way it is. All right, next. Please pick an Office suite. I would go with uh, uh, LibreOffice. There was some controversy with FreeOffice. I tested FreeOffice. It's not for me. So we'll go with LibreOffice because that's also uh, works pr pretty good in Linux distros and I believe it's for Windows also. All right, this is an overview of what will happen when you start the install procedure. Uh, verifying location, time zones, keyboard. All right, let's do install. Now it says, it says here you will not be able to undo these changes. Now what this means basically, if you are running this as a dual boot, be careful. If you choose this, it will erase your Windows partition. All right, again, a nice welcome screen. Welcome to Manjaro, a professional user-friendly Linux distribution driven by a dedicated and hardworking community. So during the installation, the slideshow will provide a quick introduction. Very good. All right, so Manjaro has three officially supported editions, XFCE, KDE, and GNOME, plus Manjaro Architect, Architect in that installer. I believe XFCE is the main flagship edition. If that's wrong, those of you who use this, please correct me if I do make any mistakes here. 
All Manjaro editions are completely customizable, exactly how you want it. Very good. That is the power of Linux in general. So I think what I'll do here, uh, once this is done, I'll uh, run the updates, make sure that works, because that was one of the issues I had three years ago. We'll see what happens. So Manjaro has three different options for managing packages. The original command line option, Pac-Man, GUI options, Octopi, and Pac PayMac. Honestly, I don't know which is better. You guys can advise me on that. We appreciate you choosing Manjaro, and we hope you will enjoy it. I hope so too. And you can check uh, their forum for any uh, questions or feedback. I, don't, I do not know what their forums are like. I know for a lot of newbies, a lot of you, friendliness on forums can be a hit and miss. I totally get it. Uh, I can tell you on this Total OS Today channel, you're always welcome to ask a question. Uh, I may not have the answer you seek, but I'll do my best to answer it. This shouldn't take too long, uh, even, even in a VBox. This has... Um, the machine has 16 gigs of RAM. I believe I gave this four gigs for Manjaro. That should be enough. I think for most systems, most Linux systems, four gigs uh, should be enough. If you're running Windows on an old, older machine, four gigs is the bare minimum RAM that, sh that you should be having uh, for a Windows 10 machine. Say you are up upgrading from Windows 7 or Windows 8. Uh, if all you do is mainly uh, you know, web-based and you don't really need to upgrade Windows to uh, Windows 10, uh, you, you can certainly consider a Chromebook. Uh, it is a form based off a form of Linux called Gentoo. Or you can download a system like this, or Ubuntu, or Linux Mint, or Zorin, or something else, and try one of those uh, if you don't really need to use a Windows based system. So it says here filling up file systems. I noticed this download was rather large. I believe. Uh, XFCE should be a lightweight uh, type of desktop environment. I believe the download for this was over two gigs. That surprised me a little bit, but honestly, if this works the way it should, it's no big deal. So yeah. I'm using my lapel mic, so if I don't, if this sounds a little bit different, that's because of the lapel mic. I didn't feel like putting on my headset. It's actually stashed away. So I picked this up on Amazon for uh, this little clip on mic. I think it was less than 20 bucks. It seems to work pretty good. Anyway. All right, so I'll wait for this to install and um, I'll be back. All right, welcome back. I couldn't quite uh, get this thing to uh, do a full screen properly on my display. This is the best I can do, so sorry about that. But really, for testing purposes, uh, this should be good enough. So let's take a look at this and see what we have. Right click on the screen. Now, running XFCE, super easy for newbies, for beginners in terms of, in terms of navigation and learning, this, learning the uh, desktop environment. What I'm doing here is just a, a few tests, right click. If we go to applications here, this will you know, give you a drop down menu, expanded menu of everything that is installed in this thing. Looks like quite a few uh, applications of what I see here. I did run the, uh, the update, did not have any issues this time. Uh, let's, let's check it again just to see. Yeah, it looks good. Now you can also run updates through the terminal. Um, I forget off the top of my head what the commands are. Like I said, it's been a while since I've messed with this. So, yeah, so far so good. Um, let's go to move on. We have a panel at the bottom. All right, we'll go through these one by one real quick. Let's take a look at the audio mixer. Okay, nothing unusual there. Clipboard. This is the package manager. Categories, audio, video, let's go back, groups, repositories, installed, updates. All right, so far, so good. All right, my network connection, computer, 
two workspaces minimize all windows all right you can right click on the panel again xfce is highly customizable i think we'll just keep this uh, default the way it is okay we have trash to file system file system and file manager trash view side pane all right nothing unusual here let's go ahead and um, get out of this all right let's hit click the start button here we have a search bar some shortcuts web browser let's see what's installed by default all right looks like it's Firefox okay let's close the tabs here all right recently used all accessories education games and graphics GIMP installed by default very good internet see Thunderbird I use Thunderbird quite a bit multimedia VLC very good ah yes audacious my favorite lightweight music player XF burn CD and DVD burning application the usual LibreOffice of course other HP U scan settings let's go to the uh, Manjaro settings manager see what that looks like kernel user accounts time and date hardware configuration all right very good let's move on Bluetooth manager I don't use Bluetooth that much and let's see add remove software all right it brings us back here so if you want to remove something yeah we can remove so for example let's say I wanted to remove audacious I would not if I was running this full time but I could click remove click apply apply all right password and it says removing audacious successfully finished okay very good I don't see anything here uh, you know unusual in my brief test for the latest uh, Manjaro is this something for be for beginners well you know without a full test it's hard to say uh, I would say maybe but I would probably choose something maybe Ubuntu based if you are a, if you are a complete noob uh, to the world of Linux this is based on Arch uh, plain Arch is definitely not for beginners there's nothing wrong with Arch once you are more accustomed to the world of Linux but this definitely looks nice it's stable enough in my VBox I couldn't I couldn't get this thing to full screen properly I couldn't get the guest editions uh, installed I believe there's a bunch of terminal commands that I need to do and I wasn't really in the mood for that however however that being said uh, this flagship version for Manjaro looks very nice out of the box in terms of the default colors the fonts the graphics I really don't have a problem with this um, out of the box so if, if you're looking for something to test at least in a VBox or it's best if you have a spare separate machine I like ThinkPads pick up a nice ThinkPad for about 200 bucks uh, make sure at least at least four gigs of RAM you know something refurbished I'll have a link for that below in the show notes uh, and you should be uh, good to go uh, and I don't think you'll have any issues full screening with a full install uh, this is just customizing the appearance of this many many options it looks like well that's all I have for this one guys I know this was a quick look if 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 I missed anything please let me know again it's been three years since I really messed with this but uh, yeah Manjaro is one of the more popular Linux based systems out there for good reason and again I, I wish good luck to the Manjaro team on their next adventure that's all I have for this one. I will say arrivederci.